Hey everyone, Carrie Tatsu here, and I am here to explain to you how to set up your Zuby Animesh closet kits. Uh, you can see I have a little monkey. We're going to be releasing him pretty soon. He's super, super cute. So um, anyway, what you do is you first get your kit and it's going to come in a box. You click your box, you open your box, and you accept the contents. Then you delete your box. Next, what you do is you go into the different contents, which is called Zuby Animesh Single Door Closet Furniture Kits. There's going to be a double door kit as well. They're separate kits, uh, but I'm going to do the um, tutorial on the single door one. You drag all these items on the ground. Here you go. So there should be four of them. Next, what you do is you click each one and copy to inventory. Copy to inventory. And if you have these graphics that pop up, just close them. Copy to inventory. Copy to inventory. Then what you do is you delete these packages. Then you look and you see where the items are in your recent inventory. So I actually have a closet example set up for you and it's located in Zuby Animesh Closet Mesh folder. So if you go here and you drag Zuby Animesh Closet Open Out, and then you drag Zuby Animesh Closet Closed Out, you can see here's my closet. So imagine you're a 3D modeler and you modeled your closet and you uploaded it into Second Life. So here's your closet. As a 3D modeler, it's important to model the door a very specific way. If you look really closely, you can see there's an extra mesh that was modeled in Blender. Um, it's a separate face and that's important because rotating an object, a door specifically in Blender, and then when you import that into Second Life, the rotation is always off. It's always in this, it's, it's, it's not where you assume it should be. So just make sure when you model your door that you include an extra mesh piece so the rotation is correct and you can see it right over there. Okay, so here's my model of my closet, my door. This is called the panel. It's included in the in the kit and you would want to place this on the inside of your door. You can have a drawer if you want to. I, I just have it in there just for decoration. This is actually called the hanger display. You want to take this and place it inside your closet that you modeled as well. All these things are open permission. You can grab mine. So it's important you model your closet, you grab, you select edit link parts, you grab the panel, you grab this, the hanger, and you put it inside your own mesh closet. The next really important part is you can see here, I have a prim and it's a square cube and it's set to rotation 0, 0, 0 and it's linked last. That's super important. Um, because what we're going to do is set up the coordinates of our door opening and closing. And if you rotate your closet like this and the rotation is off, your coordinates will not be correct. So you want to make sure that that's linked on there last. So you model your closet, you bring it in, you add a prim and you link it last. And then you name it. I actually named this closet open, but you can name your closet your whatever you want to name it. This is the identical identical closet except the door is closed. And the reason I'm showing you two is we want an example of a door open and a door closed so we can get the coordinates of the door. That means when someone clicks on the door, the door opens correctly. So what you do is you select edit linked, you select your door open, you find a script named Zuby Closet Rotation and Position Finder. You open contents and you drag that script into content of your door and it gives you some coordinates down here. So then what you do is you grab the coordinates, you copy them, you create a note card, I'll call this coordinates, and you say door open and paste it in there. You also want to grab the coordinates of your panel. So let's do that. You edit, you can see edit linked, and it's in panel, it's named panel, and then you grab those coordinates from local chat. Those are your open door coordinates. Let's do door close coordinates. Save your note card. 
So it's going to be hard to sort of go inside this, this closet and grab the panel. So what I do is just temporarily move this back. I select my closed door. I drag the script in. This is my closed door closet coordinates. And then I can now rotate to here. That's my closed panel closet coordinates. There you go. So then what I'm going to do, edit link parts, and I bring that back. All right, so now I have this, and I save this note card. OK. So then what you're going to do is you go into the folder called Zuby Animesh Baby Scripts. You open your script called Zuby Closet Door Offsets. It's open permissions so you can view it. You go into your coordinate note card and you copy and paste the correct coordinates into the script and just be careful you copy and paste the correct ones. So this says door open rotation. So door open rotation is here. So I copy and I paste it here. Uh, this says door closed rotation. So door closed rotation is here. So I copy and I paste that here. This says panel open rotation. So this is the door open, panel rotation, copy, paste it here. This says panel closed rotation. So door closed, panel rotation, I copy this and I paste it here. This says panel position. So you don't need your door position because it's not moving, it's just rotating, but the panel actually moves. So this is panel position open. So door open, position, copy, and paste it here. And this is panel position closed and paste it here. Okay, so save that. All right, next what you do is you make sure that you delete the script of the rotation and position finder from your closet. So just delete those and make sure the closet's clean. You uncheck edit linked parts. Okay, so the next part, what you do is you left click your closet, you make sure everything is linked together, you find your Zuby Animesh Closet Baby scripts, you drag them into the closet, okay? After you do that, chat will say licensing is required. You locate your licensing script and you drag that into the closet and the door will close. After that, it's very important to remove the licensing script and remove the door offset script. Okay, now you can open and close your door. And you can test this by clicking the baby icon. I have a baby around here somewhere. There we go. And let's see where she is. There she is. And she should come near the closet and get dressed. So let's see if this works. It should work. Click the item she's going to wear. Close the door. And there we go. So the other thing too is you can see I made the invisible prim here. If you click it, you can rename the closet or transfer clothing just like the ones I sell and also call the baby that way. But this allows you now to save your permissions and sell your own closets. To make your newborn closet after you finish making your baby closet is let's delete this and let's delete this. Drag your closet out again and make sure nothing's in it. It's completely a completely clean closet. Then go into your scripts and go into your newborn scripts but you have to make sure the closet door offsets are correct. So since I already fixed them in my baby scripts, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy them from here and I'm gonna go into my newborn scripts and paste them here and save. Okay, now what I do is I take all the newborn scripts and I drag them into here. And then I take my licensing script and I drag it into here. And then what I do is I remove 
the licensing and the door offsets and I open my closet. Now it still says baby. So what we want to make sure is if you open the panel that says newborn, that's the that's the texture you want to use. So I'm going to see where that is. I select baby here, locate my texture, and it's newborn and I change that. And now this should call your newborn and you save this as a newborn closet. Okay guys, that's it.